Hi, my name is Irene Mushami Duritu, and I'm the author of Lucky Girl. At the heart of it, Lucky Girl is a modern love story. The premise involves a young Kenyan woman who moves to New York City as a student and along the way falls in love with an African-American man. And all that should be simple except for the fact that her mother, who is a very dominant force in her life, completely rejects relationship. My favorite character in the book is Soila's best friend, Letitia. Letitia is a self-confident, no-nonsense black woman. She doesn't suffer fools gladly. At the same time, she's compassionate and protective of her friends. She's extroverted and a ball of fire, and therefore a perfect match for Soila, who is a person who lives in her head and is unsure of her place in the world. The main themes that I wanted to explore in this novel were race dynamics from the perspective of a foreign black person and empathy for another human being's journey. Most times when people hurt you, it's often because they have their own trauma. No human being is a linear character. We are multidimensional. Suela's mother is difficult and she hurts Suela in many ways. It's important to understand that there's a reason she is the way she is and to empathize with her trauma. It's only in first understanding her trauma that Suela can forgive her mother. I did not decide that I wanted to become a writer. I always knew since I was little that I wanted to be a writer. I just didn't have the courage to go for it. And I finally went for it when I, <laughs> when I turned 40. And I know that's late in life, but I'm so glad I did because it's really my passion, and I'm so glad I, I did it, finally. The book that was important to me when I was younger is a book called Zenzele, A Letter for My Daughter. I read this book in the late 90s, around the time I had arrived to the United States. It's a letter from a Zimbabwean mom to her daughter who is attending Harvard. She wants her daughter to not forget her roots to understand that her parents came from a different time, from abject poverty and colonization, and that their success has come from self-drive. That the comfort and wealth she has grown up enjoying doesn't replace the struggle that came before it, and she should rather remember the struggle and not the wealth, because that's what will keep her grounded. This is my exact story. My parents came from nothing and were only armed with an education. They were able to climb up socioeconomically and provide for their children 100 times more than they had growing up. The only thing they've ever asked of their children is that we won't forget where we've come from.